<clears throat> okay. So here we are. We are in our groups. And today we are going to be working on a close read on one of my most favorite foods. I absolutely love cookies. Do you like cookies? Yes. Me too. They're my favorite. So you have your reading passage. I'm going to give you a few minutes to go over your reading passage before you read. Some of the things I want to remind you is as you read, you want to do annotation. Do you know what annotation is? Yes. It is to take notes. Very good. So annotation, it says annotation is your comprehension helper. Why would I say that? Because whenever you take notes, mm -hmm. it it like helps you remember what the all like not all the paragraphs, but it helps you remember some of the parts in the story. Precisely. Very good answer. Also, it, you want to remember that the comprehend that annotation is your comprehension helper. Like you say, it helps you remember parts of the story. What else can it help you with? It can help you like you know, answer questions and stuff. Very good. So here it is. Why should I annotate? What's that? Well, you said it. It's okay. You're fine. You're doing good. <laughs> Annotation, you say it helps you what? It helps. It's a, it takes notes. It helps you, like, remember the, you know, it helps you remember. It helps you remember what? You remember, like, what was in that paragraph and, like, like, Wow. Let me spell properly. Do you want to spell Remember. Okay. Oh, yeah. It helps you remember. A parts of the story. Parts of the story. Good job. Parts of the story. Yes, and guess what? Hmm. I have cookie pants on. Yes, you do. Let's see your cookie pants. And you got different types of cookies. You got chocolate chip cookies, and look at that. So festive. With some glasses. Yes. All right. It helps you remember parts of the story of the... Parts of the story. Okay. Parts of the story. So that way you can answer questions. All right. We'll put this right here. There's another part to answer questions. Mama. Shh. You're spelling story wrong. You spelled story. Wow. I'm sorry. Stories. Thank you. All right, to answer questions. All right, here we go. Let me put this on your questions. So, a lot of times, what can you do to annotate? Like, how do you annotate when you read? What are you going to do? So, you are going to highlight stuff of what you think is important. So, you can highlight. What else can you do? And you can highlight, like, the details of, like, like, the supportive details that supports the main idea. Very good. Very good. What else? You can highlight. Is that all you want to do? Highlight or what else can you, you do? You can take notes. Very good. Take notes. Perfect. I'm getting some Okay. I'm like heartburn. All right. So, highlighting. You can take notes. Whichever you, you can also underline. Don't forget that. If you don't have a highlighter. Yes. Underline. You can always underline. Hold on. Under... Line and do you need to use the same color? You can if you want, but you can if you're if you're like creative, not creatively, but like if you're like a person or like picky person, mm -hmm. you can do like many colors. Like, can I show them this? You can show them what you've got going on. So I I actually did this. Um. So I like put purple. Don't on talk it. to them like that. But you do use. Yep, you use different colors for what? Fine. What do the different colors do for you? It, it, well, it just helped me remember, like, what most of this, mm -hmm. like, the different details. Got you. Like, different than the first one, the second one. The so, like, color coding. Mm -hmm. Good job. So, I'm going to give you a moment to read your passage. And then we're going to cover some questions. We're going to go over some of your annotations. And then we're going to cover some questions about comprehension. Okay? Just lay it down. Pretend you're reading. They just hurt.
Daddy. Shh. All right. So, have you finished reading? Yeah. Great. So, as we go through here, let me see. Let's look at the first paragraph. Okay. Let's see something that's worth highlighting. But this is this is what you're going to do to kind of figure it out. Let me read it first. What we'll do is I'm going to model, and then I want you to see what I do, and then I want you to compare what you have highlighted on your paper. I want you to reread it and think about it if that is part of something important, okay? So, for example, in the, we'll read the first... Paragraph. Let's follow together. I'll read aloud. I'm going to model. So follow together in your reading. It says, Believe it or not, for a long time in Earth's history, chocolate chip cookies didn't even exist. It wasn't until very recently, around 1938, that chocolate chip cookies were first invented. Unlike a lot of other things, the chocolate chip cookies Sorry, the chocolate chip cookie was not invented by accident. During the 1930s, a chef named Ruth Graves Wakefield decided to give something different to her customers. And, oh, sorry. I'll read the next sentence also. At the time, she owned a restaurant called the Toll House Inn. We're just going to stop there, okay? So those first few sentences that we, we read... Okay? Sometimes you have to read it a couple times. So I read it. Now, if I go through it again, it says, read the first sentence. Just the first sentence. Believe it or not, for a long time in Earth's history, chocolate chip cookies didn't even exist. Okay. Let's think about that sentence. Does that sound like something extremely important that you need to know from your reading? No. Okay, let's read the next sentence. You can go ahead and read the next sentence. No, you keep you keep your notes because the only way you can figure out what is important but is if you try. So read the next sentence. Okay. It wasn't until very recently, around 1938, that chocolate chip cookies were first invented. Okay, now with that sentence, what do you think might be important in that sentence? Um, around, around, um, 1938. Here, you can use this eraser. Okay, so go ahead and keep reading. Around 1938, the, the, that chocolate chip cookies were first invented, right? So, that would be something that you would need to know. What? Because it says around 19... It was... You could really highlight around 1938, chocolate chip cookies were first invented. I'm just going to go like this because it kind of connects to the whole sentence. It does, like, it's two different sentences. But don't mind me. However... Around 1938, chocolate chip cookies were first invented. So, in this, it looks like that around 1938 might be something we should remember, right? Okay. Then, you can, if you keep reading through here, you'll see it says, during the 30s, so a chef named Ruth Graves Wakefield decided to give something different to her customers. Do you think that sounds like something that we need to remember? No. Are you sure about that? During the 1930s, a chef named oh, Ruth yeah. Graves. Yeah, why do you think we need to know that? Because it has a date. Well, what else? Well, because it also says why. So why? why? Where's the why? During the 1930s, mm -hmm. a chef. A chef. That's what I said. It says why. Why what? Why? Why? Like how it was invented. Okay. Or who? Right. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So, her, her name was Ruth. It was a chef. Do you know what a chef is? It's a cooker. That's right. Somebody that does cook and make a lot of meals. So, we got Ruth Graves Wakefield decided to give 
something different to her customers. So as you go through your reading, you're able to highlight and kind of see what's going on. Another thing you should do, just as I had asked you that question, do you know what a chef is? Whenever you're reading, if you're not sure about a word, you can always circle the word in your reading as you go. So that way, if you need to go back and say, I'm not sure what that is. You have margins in your handouts. See right here, these little margins. You can take notes. And if you're not sure, you can simply circle the word you're not familiar with. And you can also write it all inside the margin. So that way, it's a reminder that you can go look that one up. Got it? Okay. I got it. So as we go through, you have read the passage. And we have, I see that you have done some of your annotations. So let's see how your annotations go. Based on this, tell me a, a simple question. Because when it comes to questions, there's different types of questions. Yeah. There's your plain, ordinary, look, I get the basics. What are the basics, just simple, about this passage we read? What's it about? I'm getting there. What's the passage about? No. I did not forget. Yeah. Okay. The passage is about, like, the history of the chocolate chip cookies. Very good. So, you've got the basics. So, we're going to call that just a simple cookie. This right here, I like to use potatoes. But I understand not all kids like potatoes. And because we're talking about cookies, I couldn't help but have a Plain, ordinary cookie up there. What is a good, just, question when it comes to something simple? Is there a lot of answers with a simple question? Mm -mm. No. Give me a simple question on some of your notes or anything else. What is a simple question? What date? Keep going. What date... Was it, was, was it? What is it? Was the chocolate chip cookies invented? Very good. Chocolate chip cookies invented. So, whenever you look at this, Whenever you look at that, what day was the chocolate chip cookies invented? On your reading, how many answers do you have for that? You have, okay, so in 1938. 1938. 1938, the chocolate chips, the chocolate chips were invented. The chocolate chip cookie was invented. And how? Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Just we're sticking with our basic question. Just a basic plain cookie. Mm -hmm. Is that all you like? No. Here's another question. This question, this plain cookie, is that showing me you understand the reading a whole, like deeply? No. No, I, I don't you think so. You have to add detail. Like you have to put like chocolates in there, and chocolate chips. Very good. Which is what does that when you say details? You're saying that I have to add details to my question or my questions need to ask for more detail, not just one, right? So that means we're going to put this up here. This is more of a chocolate chip cookie. So this one has a lot more stuff on it, right? This is now if I were just plain. No, this is a, I like to call this, I comprehend question. This means I understand it. I don't want to know that you just got the basics saying, what year was the cookie invented? And you tell me, well, 1938. Because you went back into your context, which is very good. 
And that's just one answer, right? Yes, that's just one simple answer. But I don't know if you really understand everything about it. So, what kind of question do you think we could ask? You could ask, like, was um, chocolate chip cookies the most popular? This is amazing. Yes. Were chocolate... Well, wait a minute. Don't You don't want to put the answer in there. But your big question was, were chocolate chip cookies the most popular? Right? So let's put this right here. Yes. Were... Or not. Hold on. Were chocolate... Chip... Cookies... The most popular or the most unique. Now, question before we finish this question were chocolate chip cookies the most popular? Does this have a yes no question? Um, answer yes. All right, what can we add to this question that can give us more detail from the answer? We can add like, um. We can add, like... Just look at the question. Were chocolate chip cookies the most popular? Think about your reading. And this is a yes-no question, which makes it simple, but I like this kind of cookies, right? So what can we add to this to make it make the answer have more details? You can add... What's something we can add at the end? You can add, like... So you're not going to put a yes or no? Well, I don't want to know how you're going to add your answer. How can we make this question deeper? You can put a little more. More. And you can put a little more, like, supportive details into it. Or well, that's how you give it an answer. But it says, were chocolate chip cookies the most popular? Question. And then look at this one little thing. See, now, by adding this word, we can go back to the context, right? So let's go back to the context. And let's look in paragraph three. Grab your reading. Look in paragraph three. And go ahead and... and For a while. Well, just find a sentence that helps us answer... Were chocolate chip there, cookies? Oh. For a while, the cookies were a local treat. Mm -hmm. Then their popularity. Did I just say the answer? Keep reading. Then their popularity began to spread around the world during World War II. All right. During the war, soldiers from Massachusetts would share the cookies they got from home. With other soldiers. These other soldiers loved them so much they would write home. They would write home to ask for their own shipment. Shipment of Toll House Chocolate Crunch Cookies. Ruth Wakefield started receiving letters from all over the world asking for her Toll House Cookies. Today, chocolate chip cookies as they're now known are some of the favorite cookie eaten by people. Okay. So in paragraph three, were chocolate chip cookies the most popular? Well, we said yes. Well, why or how? What is it in that? Where did they start gaining their popularity? They started gaining their popularity in... They started gaining their popularity in... Like, um, so it, like it says, whenever you look back at the text, mm -hmm. it says for a while, mm -hmm. the cookies are, a, a, they were a local treat. They were a local treat. What else can you tell me about that? They probably began to spread around the world during World War II. 
Very good. So we got a local tree. Of course, you would have your answers better than, you know, listing. But you can say a local treat. It was World War II that they started. What was it about World War II that made their popularity grow? Um, um, so soldiers mm -hmm. would bring cookies from home. Would they bring them from home? It's said it in the text, Mom. Okay, well, you're right. They would share you... the cookies they got from home. Very good. Well, I was supposed to call you Miss Killa. It's okay. So, you're right. They shared it, and then what happens when they shared it? Their friends were like... Their friends were like, I need some more. That's right. So, that's how they got there. They were popular because everybody loved... The, Ch the, tall, the tall house... Chocolate chip and cookies. Chocolate crunch cookies. That's right. Very good. Okay, do you have any questions about going through what we're going to do now? Is I'm going to let you work in your with your partners, and here you're going to use this graphic organizer. Was that too loud? No, you're going to use this graphic organizer to help you and your partner find certain details. I want four details from the whole story, and you're gonna put what the main idea is right here in the center. Me? This is gonna be your assignment when you break off in groups. So I want you to put the main idea right here, and I want four details. You'll have to do it right now when you go to your partners. These details, in just a minute, these four details, you will be able to have, and I want you to think of some questions with your details. I would, I want you to come up with some really good cookie questions, the chocolate chip cookie questions, and not just plain cookie questions. You got it? Yes. All right. Do y'all have any questions before you start your work in your groups? No. Okay. All right. If you need any help, I will help you. Otherwise, work on your graphic organizers, and then we will go from there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Did you finish?